Welcome. Here we are in the Tower of Fine Arts at SUNY Brockport. We're going to go through a couple of the studios and take a look at the couple different concentrations we have here. We have graphic design, with photography, printmaking, drawing, painting, ceramics, and sculpture. So this is the main gallery here in Tower of Fine Arts. We host the BFA thesis exhibition, which is happening right now, as well as the spring uh, student exhibition that will be happening next semester. And we also have a few other uh, fun exhibitions sprinkled out throughout both semesters. So this is the intermediate and advanced ceramics room, set up the same as sculpture and the other concentrations. Intermediate and advanced students have their own room that can kind of come in and out of as they please and work on their projects. Apart from this room, there is the main studio where the beginners work and all their wheels and tables and shelves are in there. And we also have a glazing room that has uh, glaze for both hand building and uh, wheel throwing. And then we have two glaze rooms, one solely for bisque and the other for glazing. Um, and then we also have the basement where we have to go to make our clay in a very big dusty mixer. Uh, but that would be downstairs. Now we are in the basement. This is where we store all of our clay ingredients. So lots of different bags of clay ingredients around the room. And then we also have our slip casts. We don't necessarily use those a lot for ceramics, but we still have them if students are interested. And back here we have our hundreds of pounds of bad clay that we then have to bring up to the ceramic studio to use. So this is the beginner painting studio, so students can get to work with acrylic and oil-based paints. And there's a couple different projects throughout the semester, and right now we can see they are working on still life. So this is the drawing studio. We also call it the fishbowl because it is windows on all sides, even though they usually cover them up. Uh, so students get to work with lots of different materials in here, such as graphite, charcoal, um, a few other materials, but then they also get to work with uh, drawing still lights, perspective drawings, uh, sometimes nude models in the upper division classes. And yeah, this is really just a mobile space that they get to move around and set up different uh, settings to draw. So this is the uh, lighting studio. It's used by both film and digital photography students. There's lots of different backgrounds they can use, props, different lighting techniques, and the professor can definitely show them how to use them. Basically anything to get their photography vision into reality. So down this hallway, we have the dark room, which is used by the film photography students to turn their rolls of film from negatives into positives and kind of experiment with that whole process in using a dark room and the different chemicals they have. This is the main printmaking studio. Uh, students in here get to work with lots of different uh, printmaking methods, such as screen printing, which we can see was used here. Also, intaglio, which has a metal plate that you use with acid to get your carving out of. There's also uh, lithography carving and woodcut uh, carving. So they're all used with a printing press that you ink up and then you can print onto either paper or fabric. So this is one of two computer labs we have here in Tower of Fine Arts. This is located on the first floor and this is where mainly a lot of the lower division graphic design classes are, as well as some other classes such as digital illustration and a couple other um, computer-based classes. And in the basement, we have a larger computer lab which has many of the upper division graphic design classes. So this is the main sculpture studio. Beginners, they focus on working with wax, wood, plaster, and metal. And then there are also other classes offered in here, such as uh, bronze casting specifically and metal works. Uh, once beginners are done with this class and they'd like to move on, they can go on to the intermediate and advanced specific uh, studio where they have a bit more freedom to move about and create the space their own really and get creative with it. This is the intermediate and advanced sculpture studio. Once students are done with beginner and they would like to move on with the concentration, they get to enter a more uh, free flowing and open space where intermediate they still have projects that are usually assigned by the professor, but they get to enter and leave the space as they want and kind of make it their own creative area. 
and then advanced have a lot more freedom where they get to create their own focus and kind of work on that throughout the semester. Thank you for coming along with me on this tour through Tower of Fine Arts. If you're interested in art here at SUNY Brockport, you can visit the website and check out all we have to offer.